Hi everybody, it's Julia here and I have a really fun, cute holiday little DIY project to share with you uh, and it's these little felt stockings. Now I was really inspired by Jennifer McGuire showed this project um, on her channel last week and I like, I have to make them! Um, of course, living in Sweden I don't sort of have the access to many of the things that she was using but I have access to the inspiration I know how corny is that. <laughs> okay, anyway, to the project. So I used felt, uh, very cheap quality, I have to say, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do a grey stocking here. I'm going to go with red toes and heels and a white sort of uh, lining on top of the sock. So what I did is I drew a stocking on white copy paper or printing paper. I then folded that paper into half and cut it out, sort of like I do now with the fills. I have folded that in half too. Um, the stocking then I print out, uh, cut out and then I had two stockings. And um, then on the second stocking paper I cut off the heel and the toe so then I had templates that fit perfectly. So I'm going to pin down the heel and the toe part on this red and cut them out too. On the sort of lining on top of the sock, I'm going to go with something different. So we're going to wait until I bring out my die cut machine to do that. So it's really easy. Um, I use a fabric, per, uh, a scissor just for fabric when I use this, do these kind of projects. Because um, if you like me, I mean, I'm very particular about my scissors. So these scissors, the white ones, are just for fabric. My black ones are for paper, just to keep them nice and sharp. Well, my paper scissors are not very sharp, but my fabric scissors are sharp. <laughs> and that's why we really need sharp scissors. So, now for the die cutting. Uh, I was just like, I have to try to die cut through felt. And I have tried it now in many different colors and different die cuts, and I just love it. I mean, Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I've never tried this, this before. On the other hand, I have not have my die cuts machine for that long either, so... Um, I use a border uh, die cut from Magnolia and it's sort of scalloped, so I did that on both sides. And I just think it's so cute. So I'm going to use that. For my decoration on the sides, now I'm going to do both, decorate both, both sides on this stocking. Um, with a tree and leaves. Uh, on the others, I have made. I'm sorry. I have made about eight of them before, and then I just decorated one side. But um, to show you just like two different options, I thought I was going to decorate both sides. So here I decided on one side I want to have a tree, and on the others I want to have some leaves with sort of look like a holly, you know, the red berries. Now, I didn't have a holly dye, so I'm going to use a leaf dye by Maggie Holmes. And I'm going to stitch them down with silver thread. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say something. Uh, if you look at Jennifer McGuire's, she explains this sewing technique so much better than I could ever. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm not good at that. But what I'm going to start with is laying out the, the leaves that I want. And I sort of want them to overlap, so I'm going to stitch down one leaf but have the other just under, sort of. And what I do is, I do this stitching I call, well, I was learned, in kindergarten we call it up and down so up down up down all the way around the leaf and it looks a bit like not very good but then you go back and do up down up down again but you go up uh, where the silver th the other one ended so you have that full silver lining around it now like I said I have silver thread and um, it doesn't show off very good on camera. If I had white thread, I think you would be able to see it better. But what I do, I just sort of stitch in between the stitch stitches <laughs> that I did before. 
so it doesn't take that long and I mean I just think it's so much fun I know I'm, I'm so geeky but I just really love it um, and I mean you can stitch it down with a sewing, ma sewing machine you could or use another type of stitching or if you don't want to stitch at all then glue them down I mean come on we have so much glue just glue it down <laughs> now I just really like sewing so that's why well, I shouldn't say that. I think it's really fun to have this kind of project because I'm not good at sewing, but I think it's really fun when I do so. And this magical coating uh, thread stitching through the felt goes like, it's so, so easy. Uh, so I think that is also why I think it's really fun because it was just really easy to do it. Um, so yeah. So now I'm pulling down my buttons. I have a big one and then two smaller and that's sort of how I picked them. Um, bigger one, smaller and then make sure they are not all the same color. Uh, so yeah and that is it. I mean how easy is that? It's so pretty. Oh I cannot believe I made that. <laughs> uh, okay so now for the tree. I'm going to do the same thing up and down stitching throughout the tree and same thing here I mean if you don't want to stitch then don't stitch glue glue it down use glue <laughs> um, yeah I'm not very good at fabric glues because like I said I don't really do sewing work that often but I mean use that kind of glue with other glue or hobby glue or I don't know what they call it, but I just do up and down, and here we are on the home stretch, round two. Yeah, I just think it's so pretty, and I mean this tree is so fun. I mean you can put buttons on it and like tiny stars, or so, or, like decorated tree. Wouldn't that be so cute? Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, I should, totally should have. Um, and if you want to, um, if you're not sure about the knots, and then just add a bit of glue on that knot, and I mean you will never see that. So, so now we're going to the lining, and it's that white scallop um, piece of felt we used before, or made before, and I'm just going to put that on top of the stocking. You can either just line it up and then stitch right through, or like uh, I do here sort of fold it over the edge. Um, I did about eight of these stockings before for my family to use on Christmas and of those I did not fold that uh, lining over. I did it here because the tree I had placed a bit too high but and I, <laughs> I didn't bother to cut it. I mean how lazy am I? Um, but yeah I mean the other one okay so what I really want to is that sort of rustic just stitched over look so um, yeah I mean that's why I did it on the others I think I should have done it on these two but I mean I folded it over it looks cute it's done get over it <laughs> but it's really easy so uh, the only thing I'm going to sew on my sewing machine now because I have one and it goes faster <laughs> um, but I mean you can stitch by hand here too using that same up and down technique uh, I'm going to cut some white ribbon too and then I'm all set so here I stitched one side and you can see where I stitch here just to keep them in place and I have thread my, sh my machine so the under thread is still white but the over thread is that what it's called we call it that, the over thread or top thread I don't know, okay uh, it's silver um, which means that all of these little sewing lines will look very sparkly and very cute and um, I'm going to stitch down the heel and you see where I place the head of that needle just so that the needle is it holds the things in place but it's not in the way in the sewing machine so it works great and then I'm just going to sew down the top top uh, for the toes I don't know what you call it the toe part and stitch down the toe part of the sock. Now I didn't re-thread my machine for when I'm going to stitch down the sock so on this side it's going to be the top side just for 
uh, explanation's sake. The battery side will be the top part. So that will have silver all the way around later. While the tree part, which is going to be the underside, will have white all the way around. Uh, when I did all of these for my family, I did a lot of them. I did that because I didn't decorate on the other side, so, I mean, it didn't make sense to have silver under thread too. Now, when I decorate both sides, either you can re-thread so you have silver or gold or whatever, that special thread on underside too, but I, I, I mean, I don't really care about it. I mean, I have silver on the other places, so... So now I'm just going to pin it down, I'm going to pin down the uh, ribbon that will be able to hang the stocking and then the toe. Now I'm going to line the sock up of course, but I'm not, I mean, I don't have the die, so what I have cut out is not perfectly by any means. I mean, I cannot cut a straight edge, I cannot cut a straight circle either. <laughs> so I don't get that fixation on lining it up. Now here's another thing that's really exciting about having some really fancy thread. Uh, it's metallic coated which made it so easy when I was stitching through the felt but that metallic coating can get caught up in the machine. And uh, what I do I just re-thread it. It was really easy. Um, so it's not a big deal it's just really annoying when you realize that you have stitched all that way and it's just white thread when it's supposed to be silver. But, I mean, that's life. So, now I just go over, so the stitching is not that neat as I had wanted it, but, I mean, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it has to happen on one sock, and on that sock I'm filming, so, thumbs up for that. <laughs> so now I just go around and put a bit of extra stitching right here where the ribbon is. And that is it! I mean, we are practically done. Um, and there we have it, going to remove the pins. And as you can see, I have not stitched very perfectly. And that is because I realized making very many of them that I don't have to be. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. I'm not going to get all stressed up about it. So, where it's not perfectly, I'm just going to cut it away. I mean, come on, how easy is that? Yeah, so now it looks like I have sewn this very perfectly indeed, but I haven't. I mean, come on, that is awesome. <laughs> so that is it. Um, last tip is if you have a silicone work surface like I do, I have this Heidi Swap mat, the filth get stuck on it and I get crazy, but having one of those close uh, sticky rollers, they take it off right away. Awesome. Works with glitter, embossing powder, everything. Because that is what I hate with a silicone mat. I get crazy. But now it's all pretty. So here is the stocking. Sock stocking. Yeah. It is so cute. I mean, and then you can just put a candy cane in it. I think they are so cute. I hope you have liked this little tutorial on how I made mine. I'm going to link Jennifer McGuire's video below so you can see how they are supposed to look like. I hope you have a really great day enjoying the start of winter and I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye!